Come in. To Mama Farm. Welcome. B&B. This is the entrance and this is where the breakfast would be. And then we have rooms all around. This is uh, the vintage Ray's room. So this room, I've decorated it with a collection of female male hats. Here, a collection of all feather hats, a photo of my father and mother, because my father raced for Ferrari. He I mean, it's amazing that they used to race cars in this. I mean, it feels so flimsy. <laughs> no? <laughs> it feels like nothing. And cars that had no protection. <laughs> yeah. This one is called the artist room. Here it is. And it has the painting of all the local artists that live in Belport. So for example, uh, this was the first sweater made with wool and, uh, from the farm. And this was knitted by Lita Morley for my son Ronan when he was just born. And it's such a cute sweater. And of course, Ronan fitted into it for like two weeks, you know, and then they grow so fast. So we had it framed to always remember. And then this is a wonderful local artist named Jessie Hartland. She's a, she does a lot of children's books. Um, and she made this for you, mom, right? For your yeah, birthday? Yeah, my, my chickens, all yeah, the different breeds. Yeah, it's all breeds. the different breeds of chickens and birds. And for example, we have these different chickens on the farm. And it's just kind of a delightful little, um, you know, this is Macho, our, our turkey. He's the best. And the chicken room has a photo of uh, Patrice Casanova of all the chicken. With Patrice, we did a book. And this is all the illustration and the scientific information that I gave in the book about chickens. Because uh, here we have many chickens. Uh, and I am a scientist too, not only an actress. <laughs> Come, then there is the David Lynch room. The David Lynch room, and he has two twin beds, but they can be put together and not the queen bed. And this is all the art of David Lynch, uh, that I, who I worked with in many films. The kitchen kit, uh, he dismembered a chicken and then gave instruction to assemble it. And this is uh, uh, two uh, rhinos uh, making love. I'm not sure this is the best room for kids, but you know, we think it's beautiful. And well, <laughs> David is a great artist. He is a great know? artist. Where are we now? So this is the kitchen that was, uh, so the kitchen uh, in Italy or at Mama Farm is very important because it's the heart. We don't have a living room, a dining room, but we have a kitchen where we eat, we gather. Of course, we have the fabulous vegetables that Patty at Early Girl Farm produces. We have eggs, we have uh, uh, honey. And so this is our heart, a gathering place. And it was built by Pietro. Didn't he always want to design a room that looked like the inside of a cigar box? Yes. That was the inspiration for this room. The entire Mama Farm is uh, dedicated, if you want, as a lab to try to see how, how, can we how can we live in harmony with nature without exploiting it. So do you want to tell everybody about Pietro and all the work you did on the Sozzona and what it yeah. was and now what it is? So, uh, so the farm is uh, about uh, 28 acres, most of them, 21 protected by um, a conservation easement uh, that has the mission to create a farm. I bought this, this house, it used to be a very teeny house that we called Sozzona, which in Italian means the dirty one, because it was a very run down, horrible little house. And then with my friend Pietro Cicognani, who is an architect, we thought you can create a bed and breakfast, then we can accommodate our client, our members, and still have a place that it can be a refuge uh, in case there is bad weather or it's too hot and you need a, a half an hour of air conditioning or too cold and you need a half an hour of a heated room. And that became the wonderful kitchen that is really is the heart of this place. So that's Mama Farm and our B&B. Thanks so much for coming and we hope to see you all soon. Ciao.